In addition to cancer, several other serious diseases lack an efficient cure. Many heart diseases, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, a long list. In the equatorial developing countries, Lismania is a grave health problem. In all of these diseases, the mechanism at the cellular level are not yet fully known, but it seems protein kinases are the key to many of them. Protein kinases are actually enzymes that assist in activating biochemical reactions inside the cell. A kinase that for some reason does not act properly may cause an illness. It can, for example, exaggerate the speed of the reaction it is controlling. Manipulating the abnormal kinase can lead to curing the disease. We talk about activating or inhibiting the kinases. They are involved in many aspects of, of normal cell function and also in mechanisms of diseases. Therefore, these uh, proteins are very uh, attractive targets for new drugs. The Protein Kinase Consortium, Prokinase Research, is a joint effort of 25 research units including five biotech companies in 12 different countries. It is coordinated from Finland, from the Faculty of Pharmacy at the University of Helsinki. The aim of the consortium is to discover new activators and inhibitors of protein kinases. The discovery process involves synthesizing chemical compounds and isolating them from natural compounds. Many natural organisms, such as cyanobacteria, that is so hated in nature, are very interesting in terms of drug development. Uh, cyanobacteria were a uh, long time regarded as algae and they were never cultivated in the laboratory. Only the um, last 50 years they have been cultivated and in our group we started to collect this culture collection about 20 years ago. We, at the beginning, uh, were interested about toxins, but um, many of these toxins uh, ended up also uh, cell reagents. The characterization of natural substances is also going on in Switzerland and France. In the University of Geneva, researchers are trying to isolate substances acting on protein kinases from African traditional medical plants. And on the northwestern coast of France, Professor Mayer and his group concentrate on compounds found in marine organisms. So we have assembled a collection from uh, um, marine organisms, uh, mostly uh, marine sponges and uh, um, microbes also. And uh, so we uh, have um, characterized them for in inhibitions toward kinases and we found a few of them. But from there the chemists modify the compounds and they improve them uh, in this regard. Another approach to developing new drug candidates is the computer-aided design and synthesizing of molecules that fit the structure of protein kinases. This process examines great amounts of promising compounds on the molecular level with the aid of computer-aided models. You can do a rational design without the computer. But at that moment, the structural, three-dimensional structural information gets a little bit lost because we are not able to simply see on a paper, looking at a number, and have the three-dimensional structure. Professor Skapotz's group in the University of Geneva improves and further develops the promising molecules received from other laboratories and also mines for promising source molecules from their own designs. These improved molecules are either synthesized or are offered for test manufacturing to some of the third group laboratories of the consortium. Often they end up back at the Viki campus. Molecules designed by other groups are tested with a battery of targeting and activity tests. 
These tests provide feedback for the modeling and new ideas for improving the chemical characteristics of the molecule. So it's back to the drawing board. All the three-dimensional three assembly of these proteins is very similar. And you do not want to touch the insulin receptor while uh, trying to cure a cancer. The fourth research entity, with research groups in six countries, is looking into adapting these promising molecules into drugs. It is essential to find out whether a certain molecule or molecule family is bioactive in order to determine whether the molecule is feasible for further development or not. The prerequisite for further development is that the molecule only targets a certain protein kinase. At Prokinase, a biotech company at the Tumor Biology Center Freiburg in Germany, this question can be answered quite speedily. Today, basically, the majority of the compounds that are tested in clinical phases fail eventually, uh, often due to unwanted side effects. If we know this the capacity of the compounds to block kinases and know how many are blocked, uh, then we can get an idea whether we might expect uh, unwanted side effects later in treatment. A compound that blocks too many kinases is not uh, wanted in drug development. The researchers in Freiburg use a collection of over 200 kinases, which is handy in testing any molecule candidate. So in those freezers we store our kinases at minus 80 degrees and we have them stored in rack systems. So you have boxes like that here at minus 80 and the kinases are stored in those tubes and uh, they are quite uh, stable at this uh, temperature. Prokinase also develops assay systems for different protein kinases. The molecular testing is done by a robot. We are measuring here um, 80 compounds in IC50 dilution against four kinases in that run. Protein kinases control the proliferation of cells. If there is a change in the intervals in which cells proliferate, the reason can be a disturbed kinase. The consequences can be cancer. One of the proteins we work on seems to control a very late stage at the process at which these two cells actually separate. And they don't separate properly if this protein is not functional. And this really allows us to say then that if you can selectively block that protein, in the right context, you may be able to prevent cells that are proliferating from proliferating. 